Hey guys, hello and welcome, welcome. It is Charlotte here. I know I just have the biggest mess on my table, but um, I just pulled out so much stuff and I started looking at the cover here and I wanted to run something by you. What do you think of this idea? How pretty is that? And then maybe, given this is the cover, maybe, I think I would put, um, I probably would paint this. I'm not too sure. Probably would paint that and maybe put uh, glitter on it. Um, yeah, just kind of trying to see what might look good. So anyway, all right, well, I'm not really concentrating on the cover. I want to show you what I've done. Hopefully you can see that I did come in here and put some glitter. I went ahead and did that because I used crystal glaze and it takes a while to dry. And then this is the glitter that I used. I think this was from Walmart, um, just regular glitter. And I did that on a couple pages. But I wanted to begin to decorate, and then I started thinking about this, and I got the idea to do, I took, I had a pack of these snowflakes. Um, I can't tell from this where they came from. I want to say maybe Michael's, probably... Nope, Hobby Lobby. Okay, these were from Hobby Lobby. And I put um, some Distress Glitter on this. This needs a closure. I think we spoke about this. And I thought, I did go ahead and punch. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, I did punch. I used this Holly Punch and did punch. It really because of the pattern of the paper you really can't tell that I've punched it but I thought this might make a cute closure and then I thought maybe in the center of this we might put some we might put a green dot I kind of looked at the red but I think I like the green better so I think let's go ahead and do this, and I think to make it easier, because this, this is heavy cardstock, let me go ahead and keep that down like that, because this is go going to want to pop up once I put the glue on there. So I'm gonna try to use Art Glitter Glue. Um, I'm wondering if I should plug the glue gun in if that might be better. I think I'm going to plug the glue gun in, but we are going to use our glitter glue. But we may want to use hot glue for um, other things. Aren't crap with me videos just ridiculous? Yeah, they are. They're just kind of ridiculous. But this is how I roll, so let's see where I can put this. Where I'm not going to burn myself. Okay, so. okay, guys, let's see if we can do this. So probably glue everything here down. And hopefully I won't glue the flap down. Wouldn't that just be something? I don't trust myself. Maybe I'll take that glue off right there. Just need enough to keep this flap down without gluing the flap down. So I know I'm gonna have to put pressure on here for a few minutes, or a few seconds anyway. So while I'm doing that, we might as well go ahead and put glue around there and put one of these dots. 
I love these dots. Let's put one of these dots on here and hope this works. And it dries clear, so I'm not too worried about that. I can't get an alligator clip on here to hold this down. I think we may be good. Let's see if I can clean just a little bit of this off. And let me make sure, like I mentioned, that I'm not gluing the flap down. So far, so good. So moving on, I don't know if this page is done. I think it needs something. I might, uh, because it's the back page of the cover, I don't want to put a ruffle. But a little, a little soldier might be cute, and I don't think it would hurt anything if I put a little soldier there. So that's a possibility. So I think this is gonna be good. And then this side, you know, I feel like I just really want a lot of glitter. So I think what I'm gonna do is I did do some gold embossing here, but I've got this glitter now. This is German glass glitter. And I think this is Prima. <clears throat> art Ingredients is what this is. And I want to say I got this at one of the art craft fairs. The shows. Yes, it is Prima. Um, if it flakes off because it is, it is ground glass, I think I might go ahead and use this, which is just regular glitter. I think I'll feel safer with this. Um, let's go ahead, and I am going to apply it using the crystal glaze. So, I need a piece of paper. And where would I want to put it? Well, I think glitter on this star would be nice. I don't think I needed that much on there. And then let's put some in the middle, that poinsettia. Although I did plan on something else for the poinsettia, but let's go ahead and see. If we don't like it, we can uh, think of something else. So I think I'm gonna go this way with it. See what we look like. Yeah, that's uh, that looks pretty cute. So I like that, but I want this page to be a little more interactive. And so, you know, it's funny because I have that and then I have this, and it really is almost the exact same thing. I put a little bit of glossy accents on top of there, and I thought because I I want it to be kind of popped up. So I think I am going to cover that with this. Just like that. And then I found this little gingerbread man. Isn't he cute? And I'm thinking of putting him here, just so there's a little bit of 3D action going on. I mean, guys, this book's so cute. Now I'm wondering if I want to put two little dots on him, and I think I do. And can I do that with a pair of pliers? Let's see. then I don't have to thread it because I don't want to leave those holes. These were buttons and I don't want to leave the holes exposed. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see if I have this same good luck with this second one.
Got a little bit of glue showing, but that's a good thing about art glitter glue. It dries clear. Oh, and I just moved it and it came off. So get back on there. I won't touch it. I'm going to leave it alone. And I think I want to put him, I don't want to cover up a toy or anything like that, but I think if I put him, he doesn't really show up there, but he does show up there. So let's put just a little bit of hot glue on this. I may be out of camera, but I just put some hot glue on the back of this. So that's cute. Just gives this a little bit more action, which I like. And I'm trying to think, do I have anything else tiny? Got these little guys. That's cute. That's really cute. Maybe I'll do that as well. Just a little bit of holly. Doesn't take much glue. So now we've got three three-dimensional pieces there. I think that looks great. And then we come to this page and I was looking at this and wondering, maybe right here, a candy cane. That looks pretty festive. It's got glitter. I don't want it. I mean, it's okay up here, but you really can't see it. I think with the backdrop here, it shows up really well. And it's foam. So I'm not going to put hot glue on this. We'll put art glitter glue. And then I was thinking I want more on this and I've got these dots. So why don't I put, If I bring green down here, it pulls the green from here. The red, it shows up, but not so much. So I'm like, let's use these dots. I have them, so let's use them. And I think I really prefer the dark to the light. And I've got four. Let's see, one, two, three. Let's see what we're going to do. You know me, I don't like the I don't like to work in even numbers. Maybe I don't need those. So let's put one here. There's one. This journal is so cute. I am going to do a vintage style, I think. And it's going to be something completely different from anything I've ever done before. It's going to be an accordion, but ripped pages and um, more the shabby, shabby soul. type of a journal. So we will see. And I'm like, thank you, Susie. So it would be three and an oddball or three. You know what? Let's just do this. I don't want There really isn't a center, but I feel like I don't want the four. We're going to put a light colored one here. 
And then I think maybe a light colored one up on this reindeer's neck. There, and I think I'm gonna take this itty bitty one and put it on the tip of his nose. Just kind of like a Rudolph. Right here. Yay, it worked. How's that? And maybe two little green ones, or is that, a, that enough? Maybe two tiny little green ones so it looks more like a collar. They're so tiny. Maybe right, right there. Can I get him on there? Yes, and another one. It will be, I think, off the reindeer, but it will be cute. It'll be all right. I'll get it as close as I can. Just like that. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's so cute. I like that. Then we come to this here. And I think let's put a dot up there. Or better than a dot, maybe let's put... How about that? Oh, yeah. And then that makes this... Gives you a little bit of 3D and makes it a little bit um, interactive. That's cute. And then if we wanted to, I really don't, I don't want to cover too much up. I want there to be something going on. I think I left this, yes, as a belly band. This is a tuck and this is a pocket. So there really is quite a bit happening by the time we had something in there, something in here, something in here, we are really doing well. We've got that guy. Um, I do have, I found some stockings. This is probably Hobby Lobby too. Christmas crafts. My guess is yes, they're all Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> I could, let's get into this and see. I think, I believe these are stickers and not rub-ons. Look how cute that is. Should we do that? This is great journal space. I truly hate to put anything else down there, but this is kind of plain up here, and I think this is cute. So, is this a sticker? Pretty sure. Maybe. Get a tool. Let's see if I can pry this up. I'm pretty sure I got these last year. There we go. Guys, look at that. It just adds a little something. Isn't that cute? All right, book. You are coming along. Okay, then I was looking at this this morning. And these were, I think, um, I got these last year on sale. They were Tim Holtz frames. Let me see. There's somewhere here, but I don't know where in my mess. I thought, you know, this is a belly band, if you remember that. Every one of these pages is a pocket. This is a belly band. And for the most part, it's pretty tight. I don't think anything's going to fall through. 
but I thought, wouldn't this be cute here? And then if something came down, it, it couldn't fall through. And if I had this over on the other side like that, we could put an eyelet and hang something off of there. So I went ahead and I put a little bit of paper on there thinking that that might be really, really cute. So let's do that. And I think I'm gonna do it with um, hot glue. I think I'm gonna just do it with hot glue. Just like that. There we go, and then we can hang something off of there. And that's gonna stop, I've got hot glue down here, so this is gonna stop anything from falling. So I really like this idea. And I guess if you wanted to, you could tuck a little something in there as well. And as I'm thinking about this, we haven't done anything with our... If I was going to do that, I should have done it before. But if I cut this off... Hmm... Maybe a piece of lace on here. Let's cut this and see. Get my scissors. I need to cut that. I want it low enough. There is my... think so. So what do I need? I need to get rid of this. We don't need this. So we're going to kind of fussy cut this lace. And I will keep this little bit because I could use that in a snippet. So if this went like that, I would need to do, get rid of this as well. So we'll just make the sides match and just get this off. Just like that and that blings it up just a little bit more. And look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Okay. So I'm going to attach this using my Fabrifix. Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix, I don't really know what the difference is. I think it depends on what coast you are on. It's kind of like mayonnaise. What is it, Hellman's and... I don't know. Depends. I don't eat mayonnaise, but depending upon what coast you are on, one is Hellman's and one is something else. What do you think? Yep. Perfect. And then you can see that from that side, and that's really pretty. And if I wanted to, I don't think, maybe I do. We'll revisit that. That might be, that might be an idea. 
So that looks good. Then we've got this page here. This is going to have something long in it, but this page, it just needs something, but I'm not sure I even have an idea of what it needs. You know how when you're working with things and you're kind of looking at them and you're thinking to yourself, that needs help, but I don't know how to help it. That's kind of where I am. That is a no. That is a great big no. Hmm. It just... I found something from last year. Not that this would go in there, but I just want to see how it would look if it had something. I've got a card here that I thought I would make into a little booklet. So just to get an idea if we had something in here, how we would look. Now that looks great because it's, it's busy enough that if I used this, this is busy enough that we would be okay. And maybe we just want to put Hmm. I would do two because I think one doesn't look right. No, they don't even show up because this is so busy. But I think, let's do that because I, and I think maybe I will put this in there. Maybe just this Dear Santa. Let's do this. Let me put a piece of something under here so that I can't get glue. Wouldn't that be something? Then I glue it together. And I glue it shut. You know, don't put that past me. I've been known to do things like that. So, I know that there are a couple of you that are making these, and I hope you're really, really enjoying the process. Now, most of these pieces of ephemera I got from Hobby Lobby last year on sale. So, just in case you're wondering... And I think from now on, probably Hobby Lobby will have everything... Christmas on sale, and you need to get that. See? See that glue? If I hadn't have done it, I would have glued this pocket shut. Let's go ahead and make sure. Let's keep that on there for now. Then we've got our back. We open this up, and we have this page here. And I did put the button here. I thought about putting some gold glitter on here. And um, I'm not too certain about that. But then I did think about these guys. I don't know where to put them. My trusty little... My trusty little nutcrackers. That is cute. Let's see. He, him being there, I don't think would interfere with, um, Anything that's going on with this tag. But you would have to watch out for him. Because he could get in the way. So... But 
I think he's cute. And I think Let's put him down. And if I just glue him on this pop dot here, then something really could go underneath him. The tag could go, could slide underneath a bit like that. And then hit the pop dot. So I just think that's cute. Now I need to think, do I want any... I don't think so. You know, sometimes when you add glitter, you can get into trouble. And so I think I'm going to let that. I just, yeah, this is my undecisiveness coming through. Do I want to, if I glitter, the rail is not, it's not going to look right if the sled is not glittered. So I think we're going to let that go. I think we're going to say no. To all of the above and move on and then I think I am going to possibly add or I want something here that doesn't really show up but that's cute Maybe we'll do that. What do you think? Let's do this. So let's get this down. Just a little glitter. I'm trying not to burn myself. Don't, I really just don't want to get burned. And that is good. Then we are looking at this, and I just think, let's see, are we going to have an issue closing? I don't think so. Okay. So we are looking at this, and I think this looks great. I'm going to glitter that, guys. Remember we were talking about that? So let's glitter the snow. And let's do that. And when I do, it's going to need time to dry. We have this piece here. We've got the berries. We could glitter. I think that's what we'll do is we'll glitter this and then I will let you go. I glittered, the, glittered this this morning. It's all dried. So I think I might go ahead and put the flake glitter on the points that he is. Not sure what I'm going to do here. And then we're back to the front. So let's do this page and then close so that this will have time to dry. So I need this. Get this out of here. I don't need this because I am going to use the crystal glaze. So let me put that away. Let me put this away. We're not going to use this either. So we'll get out the crystal glaze. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Move some of this out of the way. Just to make sure. And then I need to clean up because this is, yeah, quite the mess. So we're going to go where there's snow. And there is snow up on the steeple. Oh, too much. It's a full bottle, so it likes to really come out. It's going to kind of make a little outline. So we've got snow on the steeple. And a little bit of snow down the edge. And then let's... Just go ahead and put a little glitter on the tree like that. A 
hopefully that won't stick in all this lace. Oh, that's pretty, guys. Look at this. Look at how pretty that is. Hopefully the light is getting that. And now let's do... Get that out of my way. Let's do her... Um the edge of her coat or her dress, her collar and her little cuffs and maybe her hat. So let's start with the hat. Let's do her collar, her little wrists and then the bottom of her, her dress. Probably gonna get stuck in these snowflakes. I'll make sure I don't stick my finger. Maybe we'll go this way. Oh yeah, look at that. Hopefully the light is picking that up and you can see that. Isn't that so cute? Be this is a beautiful journal, guys. We haven't even put the ephemera in here and the lace on yet. I think I'm only going to use the silver lace. So look at that. Hopefully the light is picking that up and you can see that. And then this page, I think except for some gold glitter there, or maybe I will go ahead and put these on there. Maybe I'll do that instead of the gold glitter. And then I'll check this out. This might, um, I think I'm gonna put lace down here, which means this was gonna fold out. This is going to be a double pocket. So this is not going to fold out. If I put the lace down here, there's no way for that to fold. So guys, this is it. I hope if you're um, doing this with me that you are really enjoying what you're creating and I hope that you're enjoying what I'm creating as well. So I will catch you in the next video guys and have a great great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.